Don't touch it. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching you. Bowman. I'm the voice of Pan on Dragon Ball GT, and this is Anime Adventures, and I am with Mark Minza, who is the music composer for all the episodes of GT and the movie, and some of the movies for Dragon Ball Z. I'm so excited you're here, Mark. I'm excited to be here with you, Elise. This is awesome. So, Mark, tell me about composing, so all the episodes, right, of GT and the movie. Absolutely. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I was first approached by the producers to yeah. work on GT, and... Uh, it was a great it was a great opportunity and we started off saying we're gonna change the tenor of the show and really try to age it up a bit and uh, mm. add some more aggressive music really? uh, okay. uh, change what had been done you know our, the original score was wonderful uh, but it, it definitely took a, a different uh, tilt that maybe was uh, a different direction than what the producers here wanted to do with it so it the idea was to really make it uh, more geared towards you know, 12 to 15 year olds, maybe older, and, and children and teenagers of all ages uh, here in the States. Yes. And it meant a lot more probably aggressive guitar sounds. Um, and that's something I'm a guitarist by, by trade. And, um, and so bringing that into the writing and adding some more aggressive guitar writing to it and uh, more of a rock feel was that's what we so went for. Okay, yeah. see, I love hearing this because. What's interesting, I never heard all of this at the time that I was even recording GT, and sure. you and I didn't meet until much later. Oh, yeah. And so it's so cool to hear what your thought process about composing mm -hmm. the music and how you wanted to, you said, age it up a little bit for teenagers. Yeah, we wanted to age it up, and even, you know, the, the somewhat controversial opening theme, uh, Step Into the Grand Tour, mm -hmm. which was they wanted to kind of combine this hip hop idea with heavy metal sort of um, so it's a bit of a hybrid piece and it was it was kind of an experiment you know we, we tried it it was an iterative process you know you don't yeah. just do one version uh, you do something and the producers say yeah maybe let's go back and revise this take on it so you often do two three four versions of something like especially a theme song that you're gonna live with on every single episode you yes. know? Um, that's got to be a little bit more dialed in and then as we got into the episodes um, you know, the first few episodes are always the hardest because you're developing a palette, a sound palette, mm -hmm. um, not just and not just sounds, but also to themes. Some of the shows, and I think cleverly so, had like separate themes for different characters. We didn't really approach it quite that same way, um, but we had sort of overarching themes, you know, villain themes. So whoever maybe showed up as a villain that piece of music came out, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. And we see that, I mean, we even see that in things like the Star Wars sagas, you know, where yeah. we see themes that come back and things that are heroic, like this is a generally, generally heroic moment, or this is a, uh, a moment that's challenging for the main characters, you know? Yeah. And then this is where they're winning, and then this is maybe where they're losing, and this is maybe where, um, you know, it, it gets a little more anthemic. Towards the end of GT, and I remember this specifically, mm -hmm. um, there were some moments where Goku suddenly is now like we're gonna we're gonna see him go through a transformation. I won't spoiler alert. There won't be no spoilers. <laughs> Nobody's seen it at this point. Yeah, not, not that anybody hasn't seen it, but yes. if you haven't, why ruin it for you? But um, but it was really fun to create some moments musically that were very heroic and very almost mm. like a big heroic anthem. Thing that we didn't do necessarily say in the first 60 episodes you know but later in the last two or three episodes there were some moments that were very heartfelt and very like oh these characters are coming full circle in what they're doing so you're yeah, really following really the sagas one of the other things that happened in the show was yeah. there would be sagas that happened and you as actors were probably more aware of this like a character gets introduced and they're there maybe for only three or four episodes maybe five or six and so a, a new musical theme may be introduced for that saga and then we would we would work through that and it would go away yeah so you get a chance to come up with a new idea a music a theme and then it would change so i want to go back to the beginning because yeah. i don't know a lot about composing music especially for a show so when you start and they give you gt like you're the composer yeah. is there a lot of discussing or do you kind of just hop in there and go i'm going to play some music and the producers see what they think like what is that beginning process well like? you know every director and every producer works differently yeah some of them come in and they get down to a really granular level 
and they have lots of references. Uh, one of the things I like to do is we try to put together um, like some kind of an online Dropbox folder or something like that, a Google Drive, where okay. we just drop references in there. Um, and we did something like that on GT. We went and said, well, let's sit down and kind of brainstorm. But part of that brainstorming process for composers and directors and producers is they say, well, we kind of like this idea, and we kind of like this thing, and we like this. And it may be a really diverse bunch of music. It might be a hip-hop cue, and it might be, you know, something from, you know, a, a, a Marvel Comics film. Yeah. You know, something very cinematic. And then it might be something that's, you know, from Coldplay. <laughs> and the idea is like, how do you pull all that together? And then there might be something else that's completely different. Yeah. You know, maybe a piece of folk music, and maybe Munford and Sons, who knows? And, and I sort of leave it open and say, let's just throw a bunch of stuff in there. And what do you like about this? Is it tempo? You know, how is this going to relate to GT? Is it that it has big, you know, aggressive brass sounds in it? People sometimes are attracted to sounds. Um, sometimes they're attracted to themes. You know, like I really love this melody, you know, and I, I'll listen to a melody. I'm like, oh, well, they got that from Tchaikovsky. That's where that came from. You know, so you can see the reference for the reference for the reference sometimes. Yeah. And then you come back and you say, oh, so you want something that feels this and this and this. It's got a touch of this, but it's kind of speedy, but it includes guitars. All right, let's figure that out. Okay. So you try something, and again, the first few episodes are going to be just like it is for actors. You're going to try in a voice, and the director might go, wow, a little a little aggressive. Yes. Maybe, maybe she's a little more heartfelt, but still has that edge to it. Okay and you rework it. And then you find that voice. Yeah. Right. Okay. And that, you know, I love that. You have to find a musical voice. Mm. You have to find a musical voice for every project you okay. do. And that's a really important thing. Very interesting. That's fascinating. And it's a sound palette yeah. as well as a set of themes. Like, I also work on a game right now. Oh, what and game? I, oh, can you tell? I, I, it's I've, top secret. Ooh. It's top secret. I've had to sign okay. a lot of NDAs. <laughs> I would tell you, but unfortunately, we'd not see Elise anymore. Oh, we wouldn't and see we don't want we don't want to lose her. We don't want her. that. Uh, I don't want that. We could blame <laughs> it on the here. pandemic, but we won't. <laughs> but but in this, we have like two or three overarching themes. Yeah. And then some of the stuff I do is dubstep, but a lot of it sounds like big cinematic orchestral stuff. Okay. And a lot of it is big cinematic orchestral stuff, but with electronic things underneath it. And sometimes there's, because a lot of people know me to be a guitarist, there's like some guitar influence that's part of the score. But we've done a stupid amount of music for that project. And I'm dying, that's what I'm working on for three years. I'm dying for it to come out. So. Okay, well, I can't wait. Yeah. We'll have to follow you to we'll find follow out when, when that happens. is. You'll all know. Well, and what I love about you, we know each other because we were both on the board of directors for the Dallas Producers yes. Association. We worked together in your studio, which yes. is fantastic. But Mark is just, he is so involved in the industry and the music industry. I mean, you have your hands on everything. And I just, yes, love you. Oh, and love this beautiful, hey, don't oh. touch my mic. <laughs> Not your mic. <laughs> um, don't touch it. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching you. Don't touch your brother. I'm not touching him. I'm not touching your brother. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, but it's been a, just such a pleasure knowing. So yeah, ironically, yeah. we didn't know each other during GT days and but got to know each other. Spot. Very... We've done advertising work together. Yes, which is commercial good. work. Yes. You know, one of the great things about being involved in with all these people here, and I see a lot mm -hmm. of I see a lot of actors that, uh, here today, which is really wonderful, um, who I've gotten to work with over the years, and. Uh, you know, in a market like this, we get to do composing and we get to do acting, but Elise is also producing, she's also does some writing, yes, and and I get to do uh, audio post-production and sound design. Yeah, a little which, of everything. I, I think it all ties together, you know, we, uh, technology has allowed us to do a lot of different things at the same time. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. cool. Well, thank you for joining yeah. us. I'm so excited that I officially Anime got Adventures. to talk to you Be back for more. Be back for more. Heard it here. With Elise Bowman. Yes. Now. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Bye. We're out.